Hi, how's it going everybody? So with live streams and the testing phase on Odyssey, we might start to see live streams on Odyssey soon. So I thought I would show you guys a cool OBS plugin so you can set up some advanced scene transitions. The plugin I'll be showing you is called the Advanced Screen Switcher. And why this plugin is useful is it allows you to do some advanced stinger techniques called like um, green screen stingers. Now, as a content creator, um, I'm still very green, so I'm no pro at this, but um, I'll show you guys an example one that I set up before. Here you go. See that? You can see both scenes at the same time. And now you can see my desktop. So, and I can do it the other way back around as well. So I can go uh, back to my full screen camera using the same transition. There you go. Now, I'll show you guys how I set this up. So I'll show you guys this little video so you can get an idea of how this works. Now the black in this video is actually transparent. And then as you can see here, there's green. So we'll have to use a chroma key in OBS. Now I'm not going to show you how to set all this up from scratch. Just give you enough information that you can set these up yourself. You'll need a video editor that can render transparent videos, which are usually WebM or MOVs. I'm on Linux, so I'm using Kden Live. It's nice and open source. Um, if you do this in Kden Live, you might actually end up having to render out the video and then import it back into OBS and make further changes to it again, which is a bit of a pain because Kden Live is a non-linear video editor. It's not really a compositing software. And as you can see there, if I remove that, see, that's why I had to import it back in, is to add in the green screen on one side. That there acts as a mask. So in GIMP, I have this really wide file like this. I can remove and add the green. I've got a layer mask. So I can remove the green from one side, add it to the other, etc. If I want to do the transition the other way around. So as I mentioned before, this plugin is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. If you're on Arch or Manjaro, it's actually in the AUR. If you're on another distribution, check your package manager. If you're on another operating system, just research how to install OBS plugins yourself. Okay, so once you've got the plugin installed, just verify it's installed by coming up here, going Tools, Advanced Scene Switcher. And you also want to make sure the Advanced Scene Switcher is inactive while you're setting this up. Now the first thing you want to do is duplicate the scene you'll be switching from. In my case, it's this scene here, so I'd right click it and I'd go duplicate. Of course, I've already got the setup. My duplicate scene is down here. And the reason you want to duplicate it, I'm going to switch to this. It's going to do this scene transition, but it's not going to show the background. There we go. Now, the reason that you want a duplicate scene is you'll be making two changes to it. You'll be adding a media source, which is the transition file that you render in your video editor. And you want to make sure restart playback when source becomes active is selected. Okay. And the second change you'll be making to it is you'll be adding a chroma key filter. Okay. You want to get the whatever green or whatever color you you made the chroma key and add it in here. I went to custom color and you'll probably want to play with the similarity too. Now you'll want to create a new scene as well. And to that, you'll add at the top your duplicated scene and at the bottom, the scene you'll be switching to. 
Now, the scene you'll be switching to won't be the duplicated one. So if you want the tran so if you want the transition to work both ways, just repeat this process doing everything the opposite way around. Now to set everything up, we'll go to Tools, Advanced Scene Switcher, and then you'd want to go to Sequence, and then you'd say When, and then here you'd put the scene you'll be switching from, and then you'd put the scene you'll be switching to, then you put the length of the transition, which will be the length of the media file you created for the transition, and you'd want to say using Cut for a seamless transition. Now I've got mine working both ways, so after you've set that up, you can say Start. And you can test it out. So what I will do is I will say here I'll click capture to cam which is the one I created which has both scenes in it. There you go and it transitions. Hello! <laughs> there you go. Now I'm no pro editor but this is a pretty cool uh, technique that I think um, if you played around with it, you could do some very interesting things with this plugin. It has lots of other features too. So if you use OBS and you plan on streaming, um, I, I recommend having this plugin. It's, it's great. It can do a lot of the things a Stream Deck can do. Anyways, thank you all for watching. See you later.